good afternoon, Ipswich Central State School community. Well, our first week of lockdown and learning from home is just about come to an end. The students uh, who are with us today at school have enjoyed a free dress day and free ice box at lunchtime. At present, we've got no updates from the Department of Education or Queensland Government about the status of lockdown and learning from home for next week. Uh, you'll no, no doubt hear this information on the weekend uh, before you hear from me. I will of course send a news flash out uh, at that time advising what will be happening next week. In preparation for next week, our school staff have prepared online learning resources for the whole week and these will be uploaded to our website over the weekend should the need arise. Paper copy copies for those families who need them will be available at this stage on Monday from 2 to 3 p.m and on Tuesday from 9 to 10 a.m. at the front entrance to the hall. Our Auslan students, you will be able to collect your materials on Monday morning at 9 o'clock till 9.30 in the school office. Now these days and times for collection of paper copies will be confirmed on the weekend pending any changes to the restrictions that get announced. Our YouTube channel has seen some heavy traffic over the last 48 hours. We've uploaded just about 50 videos there. Uh, so it's great to see our kids, our parents and families uh, enjoying reconnecting with their teachers, teacher aides and their friends here at school. I'm really proud not only of the work that we've done in looking after the education, health and wellbeing of our students in our community, uh, but also assisting schools in the local area. Next week, uh, Mrs Gibson, our Deputy Principal, and Mr Rain, our Year 4 Support Teacher, will be going out to Patrick Estate State, Patrick Estate State School. Uh, this school's only got just over 30 students, uh, and they're a community that can do with a bit of a hand at the moment. So we have offered our support to them, and it's great to see some of our staff going out and supporting some of the smaller schools in the wider Ipswich district. To our students at home, I hope you've enjoyed reconnecting with your teachers and the teacher aides and your friends here at school. Thank you to those who have sent videos of themselves into the school, which will progressively get up on the channel as well. To our parents and carers who are engaging with the YouTube channel, we've also now provided playlists on that channel to help search through uh, the different videos. For example, we have a music channel, year one, year two, year three, and so on. To our staff at our school, it's been a really big week. Uh, many are operating from home for the last three days. I extend my sincere gratitude and appreciation for the time and effort you've put in to make sure our students and families' wellbeing has been at the forefront of all the work that we're doing. Uh, it's, I'm really proud to be the principal of this great school uh, and it's been a real privilege this week to lead such a dedicated group of people. Students at home, remember to keep active. Get involved in the daily push-up challenge and also take a look at the music challenge Miss Kate Tay has put up on the YouTube channel uh, earlier today or last night. Uh, you can check that out via the music playlist on the channel. So now it's time for a bit of the push-up challenge and a bit of fun. Today we have with us some very familiar faces, Mr. T, Mrs. Island, and Mrs. Sargent. Uh, they are joined in the back by some of our Year 6 students, all nicely socially distanced, ready to do at least 10 push-ups. So, uh, Let's see how we go. We might get it. We got a bit of an audience over on the back there, so we'll get them to do a bit of a count. We're ready? In the back, you count with me. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, round of applause then. <laughs> Great work. We also have some Mathematics Awards for this week. So we had 52 Bronze Awards, fantastic effort. We also have Silver Awards, five of them going to Amelia in 5H, Emma in 5M, Chloe in 5J, Hugh in 6M, 
and William in 6S. And of course, the hotly contested class awards. I'm very pleased to announce that the winner for the junior school is 2W. Come forward, 2W. <laughs> All right, there we go. And the winner for the upper school, 6S. Well done, Lily. Congratulations. So students at home, make sure you keep uh, interacting with Mathematics Online as well. A couple of other really good bits of news to finish the week off for our school. We've started the tender process for the new playground. We had contractors and cubicle representatives here this morning. Uh, that's the prep year two playground. Over $200,000 is gonna be spent. The tender process closes in three weeks time. So it is real and it is happening soon. That work's gonna commence as soon as possible. There'll be some disruptions up in that prep year one, two area, but a short period of time will di disruption. We'll soon forget about that when we've got the state-of-the-art playground, interactive play facilities, and a whole lot of nature play elements are incorporated in this design. Once procurement process is finished, I'll share with our community the final designs so you can see what to expect in the coming months. It's also a real pleasure for me to announce that a really popular teacher from our school is returning, Mr. Chan. Uh, he was our strings instrumental teacher. Uh, he's going to return to our school and will be here for the remainder of the year and he will return as soon as lockdown is finished. So I spoke to him last night. He's super excited about coming back and reconnecting with the kids that he knows so well at our school. To our families, I hope you have a safe and relaxing weekend. Uh, look forward to reconnecting with you all in person, hopefully next week, but if not, as soon as possible. Have a great afternoon, great evening, and even better weekend. Thank you.